Hello and welcome everybody to match four with the list that you see on screen here. That's right, we are playing our Relic of Progenitus. Haven't really gotten to make great use of that one just yet, but we'll see, we'll see. Currently 3-0, and trying to keep the 5-0 and dream alive, if you will. And yeah, I have nothing else to say. Let's just jump straight into the match. We have found a match. On the draw, unfortunately. Playing against Ink Master. It's a cool name. We've got an Amulet and a Bounce Land and a Titan. Playing against a Allurus deck. If we draw any 3-drop, this hand is great. If we don't, it's a bit slow, but we got to turn one amulet here. We have the Titan and we have a bounce land. It's kind of a risk to keep this hand. I'm kind of tempted to keep it, though. We can use our Crumbling Vestige or Simic Growth Chamber here in combination with the two, I suppose you might say, to make our double green for Titan as well. So you might be fine on that front. I'm going to try it. I think it's close, but... I mean, if we just run into a turn one discard spell here, then we'll be pretty sad, but. Lyris could mean a number of things. This could mean we're playing against Boggles or um, like Burn, perhaps, might still play Lyris. Um, it could be some kind of like Jund build, like a Prowess, like Red, Red Black Prowess, I think, plays Lyris. We see Bloodstained Mire, so it looks like this might be Red Black Prowess. Let's hope they're playing a Creature on one and not a Thought Seize. All right, Creature on one. Like to see it. We get our Radiant Fountain value here. And we have Second Amulet, which is quite interesting. That might make this hand pan out a little faster than we intended. Again, hopefully we're not running into any discard spells here. And sadly, we don't just have the uh, kill with double amulet since we're not playing the uh, stronghold and sunhome build. So just getting a titan into play with double amulet isn't necessarily a win, but it's pretty good. So if we draw a uh, Azusa here, then we'll have titan. So there's Azusa. Jeez. <laughs> wow. All right, well, um, we can Crumbling Vestige to get Azusa into play and then Growth Chamber twice after. Or we can float from the Growth Chamber. Let's just play the Crumbling Vestige, though, I think. Just make sure we float the green from it. All right, untap once, make some mana. Untap twice, make some mana. Man, see, this is the kind of content that you guys come to me for. You got to learn how to be just the absolute perfect when it comes to drawing the cards you need that's really the skill that you have to have as a titan player you know and here we can pick up the radiant fountain for max value uh oh they tricked me into hitting reveal hand it's all good it's all good Let's go to the sideboard, where we want Engineered Explosives and Obstinate Bailoff and Dismembers and Veil of Summer, perhaps. It does deal with Thoughtseize, but that's about it. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe not on the Veils. We could have Beast Within for potential Damping Spheres or Ashiox, but I don't really think that's what this game is about. Let's trim the pack. Uh, probably Bajuka Bog as well. I don't really put them on a Bedlam Reveler deck over there. Uh, we can trim the tracker since it dies to removal. We can trim explorers since they're a little slow, although they do dig us out from underneath the discard spells, so explorers not the worst. Um, yeah, I think this is about where we want to be. Let's see, do we want any of the cards that we have up here? Tracker's kind of close because if we're able to get value out of it, it's quite good, and it might be good underneath these discard spells, but I don't know. I'm going to trust an explorer and summoners pack to give us additional looks at Titan here. So we also play the uh, Fierce Empath as well, so that'll increase our likelihood of finding Titan against our opponent. This hand is great. We have Grazer, we have Amulet, we have a potential Titan here, and we have a Bailoff to fill in the, the corners here. So we would like to draw a Bounce Land. That's about it. I think I'm inclined to lead on Grazer here instead of Amulet. That could be wrong, though. 
I guess it may not matter. We are getting discarded, so... They'll probably take the amulet, I would assume. That or a summoner's pack, but... I don't know, that's up to them. They do take the amulet. Yeah, I think it's worth taking two damage to get this grazer into play, so... We did find our bounce land as well. It's not quite as good without the amulet, but, you know, that's fine. Let's get our Vesuva into play here, I think, as a copy of Breeding Pool, perhaps. And we'll pass it back. Next turn, we can Growth Chamber to pick up the Vesuva, so we have an access to a second potential Growth Chamber here. Or we could actually just Growth Chamber pick up the Breeding Pool so we can Shock and play a Bailoth if we really want to. Explore is fantastic here. That means we don't have to take any damage to get this Bayloth into play, so let's cast that one. Cavern. Interesting. Alright, I think I'm interested in playing out the Growth Chamber. The only problem is that it plays into a Molten Rain. Molten Rain's gonna stop us from casting Bayloth regardless, though, so let's do this. And we can Vesuva the Growth Chamber here, although that plays really poorly into Damping Sphere. So instead, I think I'm inclined to Vesuva the Breeding Pool, actually. We'll still have Titan Mana regardless. Mm, we could also just play out the TOS, but we might want to transmute that one. Let's just Vesuva Breeding Pool here. Play it safe. We'll get Titan Mana eventually anyways. Definitely not attacking with Grazer. I guess we don't want to yield here necessarily. Uh, we might want to cast Sonus Pack in response to an Ashiok, perhaps. I don't know if that would be the best line, in all honesty, though. If they just slam an Ashiok here, then it might be better to put our Bayloth into play and hope it clocks them. They do have the Molten Rain, which is unfortunate. Not much that we can do about that. That was going to get us regardless, so at least we're not taking the damage from the Soul Scar Mage. So we already gained our two life back effectively. Uh, let's name Giant here. And we can play out this Dryad that we drew fresh off the top. Love to see it. We could hold on to this TOS so we could transmute for another Bounce Land. But that would only get us up to 5 mana anyways. So I'm inclined to just play out the TOS. And now, with the Dryad in play, it might be worth some just packing for a Titan if they do something like an Ashok, because we can draw just land land off the top, or bounce land uh, as one of those two draws, and be able to cast our Titan and start getting Valcut triggers, so. I'm not willing to put the Dryad at risk here, but I'll go ahead and take my free Grazer block here. If they want to Bolt plus Lava Dart the Dryad in order to kill both of our creatures, then... I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's not the worst, so. Not forget that they do have access to Lyris here. Hmm. Molten Rain again? Gross. Alright, well, any land off the top would be good. Untap land would be good. There we go. I guess, actually, we don't even have to fetch this Heath. We can just slam Baloth, so... Let's uh let's do that one. And we'll clock with this dryad, I think, for sure. Of course, as per the usual, Grays are doing a ton of work here. Fatal push, targeting Dryad. You got me. He's dead. No attacks, of course. Love to see it, love to see it. Growth Chamber. So we can transmute Talaria West here for something and play out our Growth Chamber. I guess we could transmute Talaria West for an untapped land so that we could have Titan this upcoming turn, but that plays into a discard spell. We could also pack for Tracker and then immediately get two clues out of it. And then we'd have to pay for pack this upcoming turn. 
I kind of think going for tracker is the safest line, although it does just die to a bolt. I'm not really sure what our opponent could be sitting on over there. Hmm. We definitely want to play out the growth chamber, regardless of what we're doing here. Three, four, five. So we could pack for, or not pack, we could transmute for a basic forest. I don't hate that. And then if they cast like a Croxar or something or a K command, then we can discard the forest and hope the top deck and untap source off the top. Weird. I think that's going to be our best line, though. We could just get a second summoner's pack here or even explosives. I don't know if I love explosives. Hmm. I guess just basic forest is going to be the best thing. I'm willing to serve with this Bailoth and lose it to a bolt plus a block, because then they lose a bolt plus their soul scar anyways. No, I guess the bolt would put the counters on it. Whatever. Get a card out of their hand, I get I suppose. Just need to fade a discard spell at this point. And it would have to be a thought seize. Inquisition, at, at least we would be able to pack for a titan and pay for it. Cling to dust, you say. And that one doesn't strike me as being great. I'm going to go get the light real quick. I'll be right back. All right, sorry, I'm back. Pushing our grazer. Well, that Grazer did a lot of work. Looks like we'll be able to get a Titan into play here, though. So, things are not looking fantastic for our opponent. Not gonna lie. Um, Let's leave the fetch for in case we need it for Valcut, potentially. Ah, that doesn't make sense. We're gonna have to fetch anyways. Oh, there's a Titan on the top, off the top of our deck, so we don't even have to pack for it. We do have to crack our fetch to be able to play it, though, so... Slight unfortunate news, but... I mean, let's be honest, we're getting a Primeval Titan into play, so it's not that bad. <laughs> Here is the bad boy himself. Yes, we'd like to search. So, we could get Radiant Fountain, but I don't foresee our life total being a problem. We could get Bajuka Bog as well, but I don't really think that'll be a problem either. We could go ahead and get a Valkyte here to try to set up for a potential Dryad turn. Or they could just scoop. Okay, well, that was uh, too easy. That was too easy. <laughs> just casual 2-0 against Red-Black Prowess here. What can I say? What can I say? I guess we just faded that uh, discard spell in the second game. Definitely a little bit of a risky line, but obviously I think the upside is worth it there. I don't know. Would you have gone for the tracker, though? Let me know. Regardless, 4-0. and 4-0. and o. Can you believe it? We are almost to this coveted 5-0. I will see you guys for the last match, where hopefully we will be battling for a trophy. All right, guys. See you for match five. This is Redface Menace, signing off.